because you're not just picking something willy-nilly at random. You're actually finding things that you think are going to be um, palatable and, and work well one following the other. Isn't that what you're doing? No. So for this show, I wanted to have a brand new recipe, something that I haven't tried before. The first step now is to acquire a recipe. You see, this is what I'm trying to tell you. We're going to go to Barnes & Noble because Chef Marias... Marias. Whatever. We're showing getting a recipe book from a book that we've already cooked recipes out of on the first show. Whose fault is that in the first place? The editor? Hopefully it will be a success because, you know, when you buy a cookbook, it doesn't come out right every single time. Here's what we're doing, people. It is true that we did start the recipe on the previous show, although it's not true that this is a new recipe book that we're using on this show now. Although it is true that it was a new recipe book on the previous show because that was the very first show we did. He loves to do this, it is true, although it's not true bullshit. Language! We're trying to keep this a wholesome family show, so I don't really approve of using the bovine brown word. Join us now for the continuation of buns and raisins where he was making the dough and had all this issue with it because the dough was like clay. Uh, did I make it? Do you need help? I always need help. I mean, God knows I'm, I'm a bottomless pit. Of needing help. Now, what about that dough that we've completely screwed up? I'm going to add another third of a cup of milk. Trial and error. Yeah, exactly. Well, we have a lot of trial no and error, error, and none of it's fake. I didn't know it was going to take this long, but that's how it is. Especially when you have so much entertainment value. I hope you're enjoying. To hell with this recipe. Well, let it, let it ride for one hour. And now is when we so, take the break, and we come back in an hour. So we'll be back. While the dough rises, rises uh -huh, the you make rise. the feeling. For the feeling, you need the three feeling. cups. Feeling. Well, can you get? I'm Nothing going to. More I'm, going, huh? I, I'm going to read the ingredient for. Did the you feeling. show them how little the dough was? Yes. Now I need you to get some ingredients for me for the feeling. Can you do that? I feel fine. So three cups of currant. See, I'm going to put it over here by one the third oven of a cup of brown because sugar. Because it's warmer. Half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. What were we supposed to do with this mixture here? Uh, clove. Sometimes some of the greatest discoveries uh, known to humankind have been by accident. By accident. Half, of, half a teaspoon oh. of ground ma mace. One I think apple. this was supposed to go in the recipe, wasn't it? That's what happens in the kitchen. He's always forgetting stuff. Well, that's not really true. Yeah, it is. Wasn't it, we, weren't we supposed to put this warm beer in that, in that dough? Wasn't that, isn't that why the dough was maybe too dry? We were supposed to add... Okay, no, let me read the rest, okay? Because I think... So wait. I think here's the problem. That's Serve it why. to the help. That's what he says behind the scenes all the time. And well, those two poor guys that are operating the camera, he throws the swill at them well, and will, makes them try to eat it. Well, because it's not going to raise... Without the yeast that we had sitting in the oven. So it doesn't say here, see, on the recipe, that's the, that's the problem. It doesn't say that you are... You Silence, are, everybody! You are supposed 
Yes, silent. It doesn't say that you are supposed to put the flour. They didn't say put the, the beer there. It doesn't say put the beer and yeast mixture in, does it? It doesn't. Uh-uh. So that's why the dough was so crumbly. Now we have to redo it. No, I think it'll be okay. I think we give it a try because still, it's still pretty. Yes, go for it. Nowhere in this recipe, nowhere in here does it say. Do you take, want to mix it? No, go ahead. I don't put my hands in there. I, I don't even touch patients without gloves on. I'm sorry. You, you've mentioned already that I'm not the chef. Well, hello. Don't try to make me one now. Mm -mm, oh, hell no. Maybe we need to put some more flour here. I don't know. Sure. Look, you're a chef, aren't you? Are you a chef? Yes. You are. So I think you Chef should... Moraes. He really hasn't been to chef school. I think you should just... Here, if you need that, there it is. You can call yourself a chef, I guess, if you're in charge of a kitchen. And we use gold metal. This is what my mama used to use when the little tramp was at home. She never raised me. She had seven husbands. But I do remember when she, I saw her cook. It was always gold metal. I think God you need some her. flour. I just celebrated the death of her ten, 10 years ago. She actually died of a stroke while I was on the phone with her. I can still hear her gurgling on the phone. That's a true story. Yeah. Tragic, but true. So I add a little bit yeah. more flour. Not, well, not that much. Careful now. Careful. Now it's getting nice. You see what he just said? Only an experienced chef could know that the dough is getting nice. Just so that we're perfectly clear, I'm not a chef. But, but I'm reading through here. It says, rub the butter into the flour until the mixture resembles. Using the flour to mix, pour the warmed, oh, wait a minute. Here, no. Here it says, pour the warmed milk yeast mixture into the flour to form a dough. I missed that. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, it says it right there. My mistake, Ms. Cassell and Ms. Lair, you did give information properly. I'm sure we'll find something else wrong with the recipe, but so I want to go on, I want to go on camera to, to note that they did include I did pork. Did it? Mm, no, you didn't. Well, mm -mm. because he won't really flip out on camera, but he, he has. Yeah, see how he laughs right now? Yeah, because he knows it's true. The crew is going to eat this stuff. She doesn't say to put it in a small, uh, in, a, in a warm place. I don't know why he turned the oven on. Now it's too hot. We still have to wait one hour for the, the dough to rise. One and a half hour dough. Let's see, is the, is the pan, one of the tests, Do you I think, think it's raised? Look at it. Do you think it's raised? Oh, it did. It did work, after all. The dough has risen. Risen. Okay, now we have to make the, the filling. The Catholics would be so happy right now. Now we have to make the filling. I feel fine. Oh, you feel fine, good. This is a nice food processor. I like but it. But it's, it's sometimes cumbersome when you just need a little job. As Do you want to read the recipe for me? Uh, yes, of course, I'd love to. Well, thank you. It's always good to have a good helper, obedient. I don't, do you really want to use the cutting blade for that, for the dough? I don't think so. A helper helps. That's a cutting what blade. What do I do? Take five ounces of the risen dough and put it in a food processor. Okay. It doesn't say to use the cutting blade. What else? Add one cup of currants, the brown sugar. One cup of three. Add one cup of currants. Really? Because, okay, I thought it was three. And it doesn't say to use the cutting blade in the food processor. Well, what am I going to use? Well, I don't think I'd use that one. I think... One cup of currants. I think I would use this blade, but... I don't know. Let's see. That's right. Oh, that's a good idea. I hate to sound like Paris Hilton, but could you make that a shorter question, please? Where's the rest of the... I don't think it's going to fit on these mother bowl. So if it doesn't fit... You must have quit. Exactly. What happened to... Okay, so this is a small cluster, isn't it? What do you want? Yeah, that's ex There you go. That's what I would do. I know. I've never used this one before. First Clearly. time. Maybe there's another adapter. Let's see. You know this what? is all very curious, isn't it? It's the first time I use this attachment. We are all learning. No. That's really... There you go. Put it there. Now put there. Put, put the dough right there. <laughs> now it fits. So what's the problem then? Oh, okay. It's working. Come back here. Pulse, P-U-L-S-E, pulse, the mixture to combine it. Pour it onto a, a bowl, into a bowl, and stir in the remaining currants, the apple, and the pine nuts. What is the lead? The lead? There, the lead. No. Pulse? Pulse. It doesn't say, it just says pulse it and uh, pour it into a bowl. 
Uh, yeah, I do. Yeah, pulse, pulse, pulse. Oh my God. I know the pulsing button is stuck, got stuck. The brand name is Cuisinart and the pulse thing isn't pulsing properly. Look at this. Okay. She says dough, try dough. Oh, see? I guess somehow it knew that it was dough. No, it had done that before. Well, it doesn't look like it's very well combined, but it yeah. says to take that and pour it into a bowl and then stir in the remaining currants, the apple, and the pine nuts. Don't worry about it. Pour it into a bowl. Oh, and stir in the remaining currants, the apple. What happened to the, did you oh, have an apple? No, because the apple, you know, if you peel it oh. too early. You were supposed to have a finely chopped apple. Oh, you can chop it for me. It uh, gets all dark if you peel it too soon. Well, what, what are you, racist? Who cares if it's dark? Don't be afraid of the dark. Okay, stand aside. No, I'll get it. Don't worry. So I'm just waiting for the apples now. And, and you'll continue waiting. Everybody's waiting for the apples. Yeah. And th you know, this apple doesn't... I don't like the feel of this apple. I'm mm -hmm. not liking it. How awful. I'm waiting for the apple. Do you ever eat a pine, pine nuts? Do you remember that guy, Yule Gibbons? Ever eat a pine tree? One third of Many parts of are nuts. edible. Are the apples ready? No, I'm still chopping. You didn't say whether you wanted it finely chopped or, or loosely chopped. I don't do scut work very well, you know. This isn't in my nature. Well, it's always... That's why we have nurses in the hospital. It's... There's, look, there's more here. Oh, wow, it's taking a while. It's okay, I'm not mad at you. And you've already dribbled on the cup. No, I didn't. Yeah, what do you call that? Did you move my hat? I didn't do anything. Well, had it been cored properly. I made it the clock. Reheat the oven to 425 and grease a large baking sheet. Sh a baking sh uh -huh. Are you kidding me? Baking sheet. Oh, cheat. Cheat. A baking S H E E T. Okay, a baking cheat. Are you sure we're supposed to do this? Aren't you supposed to use wax paper? Since this isn't working for Wax me. paper in the medieval medieval time. Oh, okay. Well, why don't we just go current and we should have used wax paper because this is ridiculous. I guess they had butter back then, didn't they? It's the one thing they did have a lot of. Do we have any, any historical accounts of when butter was first done? If we had a really good crew with us, they would have already been on Wikipedia looking okay. it up. There, you see? Roll one piece into a long rectangle. Rectangle. Do you need a rolling pin? One. Oh, that's what they mean. Huh? Roll it into a, exactly. Roll it into a long rectangle, eighth of an inch thick. And you should make sure you, the flame isn't on the stove when you do this. Do you think it's one eighth of an inch? No. More? Yeah. No. Yeah. More. Okay. 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 What about? Me? Okay. Okay. Next. Now you're supposed to cut the rectangle into three smaller rectangles. Onto the middle of a rectangle, rectangle, pinching them together to seal. I know, but if you they... know what I would do, I think I would do a roll. Okay, roll this one, and I'll make the next one. Well, we'll see how they turn out then, won't we? You know what needs to happen to this to re? See, I'm already. I can improve this recipe. It needs to have melted butter brushed on it, and then these need to be made into these little, like, surprise buns so that when you break into it, it all pops out and it's all brushed in butter. That's what I'm saying. I think we'll just take the feeling you do it like that. and put it in a dish you do it like that. and bake it. Make a little... Okay, why don't you prepare the glaze while I finish the butter? The glaze? Yes. One egg white, I have it over there. <gasps> Shut the front door. Lightly beaten. Why don't we put this over here for you? And I'm going to take the recipe book. Is the glaze ready? The, the glaze, which is probably going to be a egg white with a little bit of um, sugar. One third of a cup of raw sugar. That's I told you, egg white sugar. I'm in the closet, please. I am not in the closet. No, the, the sugar is An egg white and a third cup of... Raw sugar. Raw sugar? In the pantry. What were those lady, the two fat ladies' names? See, once again, if we had a good crew working with us... We have a they, good crew. They would... They would have already looked this up from before when I posed a query. Who cares? Well, I do, or I wouldn't have asked. You see? See what I do with? Do you think that's lightly beaten? Remember your safe word. Beautiful. Look at that. Is that just, is that lovely? Oh my God. Are you messing up my recipe? I, no, I, it's, I've actually improved the recipe. How? Because I took the raw sugar and the egg white and beat them together. Instead of? Instead of 
brushing with the egg white and sprinkling with raw sugar. Oh. Okay. Now, how long are they going to bake for? Only God knows. And the baby Jesus. Don't don't leave baby little tiny baby Jesus out. Slash the top of slash. its back. Slash. Yeah. It flash. doesn't say cut or anything. It just says slash. Slash the top of its bun three times. Well, they are medieval. And bake them for 15 minutes. No, oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. It's okay. You're on the way, but I manage. You know, you're going to have some leftover uh, feeling. feeling. So use those feelings to help improve your relationships with others. What? What? How? Finish. How to improve the relationship with the feeling? With your feelings. What? How funny. I think the more of this you use, the better off you're going to be. Of the, the glaze? Uh -huh. The first one looks nicer because you are more patient. Exactly. And they, toward they, the end, you just... At the end, you just like throwing it in there because you want to get it over with. Exactly. You just want to get it over with. You just throw it on there. I'm done with those bands. Yeah. Yeah. You do your slashing and I do my slash. That's puncturing. No, it's slash. See, Isn't look, that boom, boom, look. And yeah, no, it's lash is like that. Mm -mm. See, slash, slash, slash. Oh, look, the, the knife is so dull. Slash. All you can do is puncture. Slash. I'm slashing. See? Yeah. Well, you have a different knife. Slash, 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 slash in. Flesh. We'll, we'll, we'll wait and see how mine turned out versus yours. Can we put them in the oven now, please? So 15, for 15 minutes. At 425. At 425. Did you do it? Oh, God. I decided to make my own butter because in the medieval time, they didn't go to a store to buy butter. Well, but, all of a sudden we're on the show and he decides that he wants to make fresh butter. Wait, wait a minute, Where'd you, you, you're you not just gonna make butter. How do you know how to make butter? I know how to make butter. No, you don't, that's that I. That's a lie. We need two pounds No, no wait a minute, wait, how, much, how long does it say to take, the, to, make the, take to make the butter? The butter, it doesn't have a time. I swear, you've got a book somewhere, look. Ah, okay. Look what I found. The home creamery, you see, that's where this came from. And you never told anybody about it either. You just snuck that book into the stack of books that I was getting, no doubt. I do that well, don't get thing. attitude. I mean, it's, it, you've got to tell the people what you're doing. You think you're just going to come make butter like, oh, I like you were born with this knowledge? I mean, hello. We need uh, two pints of heavy cream. No, how many? No, two pints or? Four cups. Oh, because there's, there's two pints to a cup. No, there's two cups to a pint. Yes. The English system of measurement is really archaic. So if we were if we were doing like one of these snotty cooking shows, they would have the little thing down on the screen that says two cups equals one pint and... Okay. <laughs> You have to make your own because that's how they made it back, you know, back. Right, and they and they went to the, they went and bought it in the little bottle. No, well, so, I'm sure they had the cows because since the people in the medieval times didn't went to the store and bought you know butter, but we don't have cows. Yeah, so we, they had a, so we had they to had buy. A, for the best results, the cream should be at at about 60 degrees Fahrenheit. So let's uh, look at that. He's got he's got. It, does that go? To, are you sure that's got the right gradation on it? Look at that. He's gonna... It's going from 80 degrees to... Here, shove it over here to the camera so the people can really see what's going on. Shove it over there. You're not shoving. It's 50 degrees. <gasps> but, okay, so say if it's too cold, the butter won't form. But, I mean, we need the butter in order to make the, the recipe, so I can't, we cannot wait. So, let's use... Mmm, look at that. Oh, look at all that cream. Here, let me take care of that. Mmm. Even, you know, it, it's just like... Uh, oh, look, it doesn't come out. You know, at home, mm. this is something that people do that, you know, they, they don't do it on the show. But everybody licks these things. I mean... I, I don't. How can you not? 
This is absolutely delicious. Would you guys like some? What about the salt? Please. It's about like 10 minutes uh, on high speed. I, I don't think it's ready. It said five to eight minutes. I know, man. Sure? It's grainy and it's like... Ooh, it's like... Whipping cream. No, uh, it's past whipping cream now. It's past. Yeah. It says, until it turns a rice grain and solid pieces, it'll go through several stages to get to this point. It goes from frothy to soft whipped cream, to coarse whipped cream, to solid bits, and the color changes from an off-white to a pale yellow. So after that, which they say five to eight minutes, it hasn't been five to eight minutes. I think it might be done. No, no, no. You separate. Oh, it's just flushing everywhere. Look at this, look. This is, can I please have a cameraman here? Please? We, we need a close up. Mr. DeMille. Show him the, 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 the tilt it up. I'm trying to help. Here. I'm just trying to help. Why do I have to beg to get a cameraman no. on top of here? I mean, well, I think you should say we're stopping for a moment. Excuse me, everybody. Uh -huh. I need to use the restroom. Yeah, and I'll all these stars. They'll let the stars wait. Now it turned into butter. It, look how exciting this is. And butter. Oh and. my God. And what is that other liquid now called? The liquid is called buttermilk. Buttermilk. Do you need instruction? No, thank you. <laughs> now you're supposed to let it sit for five minutes, it said. I use recipes as guides. That's how I cook. I'm, I'm not the type of person that takes the recipe and follows every single thing to the letter. Yeah, but it, you don't need to. So it says the liquid called buttermilk will separate from the butter to scrape the butter mixture into the strainer, strain the buttermilk. He, on the other hand, has to have every single thing just so. I'm not following that recipe for you because I, I read. No, he's all, all, okay. He's, yeah. he's over that. It's just a guide. Can you open that first drawer? The first drawer. No, the second. The second. The second drawer. The Do I hear cloth. three? The cheese cloth. The cheese cloth. Yeah. Okay. You, you, you're supposed to knead it according put to. Put it there. Put it where in here. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. All right. This and is then, so exciting. Did you salt it? Not yet. Oh. You squeeze because a you want. Squeeze. Oh, the buttermilk. Yeah, the delicious oh. buttermilk. Because the buttermilk, if you keep the buttermilk in the, in the butter, with the butter, it will not last that long either. So the, the less buttermilk you, left, you have left... Oh, you've been better. doing some studying, exactly, haven't you? I have. Yeah. And then you can wash it. Shut up! Uh-huh. You squeeze it. He's, he just, he's taking out all of his anger. Squeeze it, and you get the buttermilk out. Very aggressive. He's not normally like this. And you squeeze You're it. wasting so much. And you squeeze. Squeeze. Have you been drinking? Coffee. So what? Now that I have butter. And buttermilk. What is this? Delicious. I just. What is my book? What is my recipe? Mmm. And I don't normally, I, I don't normally buy buttermilk. The book, please. Oh, I threw it on the floor over here. Can you get me a plate? Of course I can. A plate? Yeah. I mean, that's what I'm here for. I'm the, I'm the workhorse. Well, there's only one plate left in here. It's way too big. No, that's not working for me. Oh, well, this is so big. It's okay. Big is not a problem. See, they don't talk about they don't talk about the mess that's created in these cook cookbooks. Can you get me some paper towels? And then you got to get paper towels. So why don't we just put this t towel holder somewhere over here? Look, and there's fruit everywhere. Paper it it towel, looks like paper towel, you know, it looks like towel. it would be good for your skin, though. Look, I mean, look, it's kind of glistening, and look, your hands look more youthful already. Do, do they? Yeah. Yeah. Look, look at that. Look at that turger. Look at that. So now that you have. I'm quiet, we can go back to concentration. You get the butter, you can put the butter here on the uh, plastic film, and then you wrap the butter up. And then you can actually shape the way, whatever, you know, the way you want. And it lasts for a week. We have, should you try? Oh yes, absolutely. People, don't hand a knife like this to someone, okay? 
turn it over. How does it taste? Just a little bread with your own homemade butter. Mm. No, seriously, that is absolutely delicious. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. And you only get this with making it with marayas. Marayas, please. Whatever. The bun, the bun are ready. The bun are ready. Let's see. Here, put the mitt on. Here, a mitt. No, hold on, hold on. You're like, supposed to... Like they do in the hospital? I know, but the you don't spread one, your fingers apart because you can't get the glove the on. The other one is going to burn. Well, who, who would know where the other mitt is? Over, over Everything there. Everything is like lost in the abyss in this place. Quickly. <sighs> Ooh, look at that. Mm, they smell good too. They smell delicious. So I think before it. we get too excited, we should take one. I was just going to have a quick drink, but I think we should take one off and test it to make sure that they're finished. Okay, we're, are, are we going to so, taste a bun? We'll, we'll take one of mine. How that turned out. Look at that. You can just see the steam pouring out of it. You don't think it's too hot? It looks too hot to me. Mm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. It's pretty good. They look like they need a sauce or something on them. Or maybe they needed the brown sugar put on top of it properly. Here it is, five o'clock, and we haven't even started the quail. Remember, that's what they ate on the medieval times. So, so you can't expect too much, but it's good. Actually, it kind of grows on you. Uh-huh. Like the sausage grows on you too. No pun intended. You know the sausage you had for breakfast? What? <laughs> With the little band here. <laughs> But we still have the GoPro camera in here, just refrigerating it's a little hard out. <laughs> Let's get that out of there. Now the idea would that be that would be full of buns yeah. for a, you know, a large table of people at court. Oh, the sausage that grows on you is too here. I am not going to say anything. I'm not going to touch it. Uh -huh. Get rid of the beer. I'm not going to let you pull me into that. Not this time. It's stiff too. By the time it's been uh, desiccated in the um, infrared grill, remember how limp it was? I know. So the bread is over the bun with Ray Elizabethan bun. Bun? Bun. Bun. Elizabethan buns. Elizabethan bun with raisins, apples. What else? Currants. Currants. Yeah. Ra currants, apples, and uh, raw sugar, brown sugar. It's done. We're ready to eat. No, they're actually pretty good. You know, you have a little bit no. and you want a little bit more. Mm -hmm. This okay. has been cooking with Chef Moraes. Chef Moraes. Uh, Chef Moraes. Thank you. We'll Thank you uh, be watching. back with uh, now some some room temperature quail that are going to... The room... Uh, the quail... We'll, we'll be coming back to have our way with those. Yeah, we'll make lunch now or dinner. Or... <clears throat> so, once again, you've made it with... Marias. Come back for more. And Dr. Barry. Exactly. See you next time. That's a 56 year old ant, and it's been decimated by those filthy mosquitoes. They're riddled with disease.